What's going on guys, it's Mankind 200 here with my uh, Super Mario shirt. But so anyway, this video is going to be about me. Um, I'm going to change the way that I do some of my videos, so comic book reviews. It's going to be a new type of show on the channel. Try to crank out as many videos as I can. Summer is basically almost over. And I don't know how other schools around the start. But I live in Illinois, so I live in the Chicagoland area. So schools in the city, they start school around September like the 6th. The school with my, I think it's either the south suburbs, uh, the north suburbs, and the northwest suburbs. We start around August and the days can vary. I know the schools in the area I basically live in, it's basically August 22nd. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about junior high school. But anyway, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about Defenders issue number one. Now, I got this from my uncle, along with many other books, actually. He actually gave me Stormwatch. Um, I have Stormwatch issues. He didn't have issue number one. So he gave me issues 2 through 12, and then 17 and 18. So I'm actually going to read those, find some digital copies of that, and read that. But yeah, we have Defenders issue number one. So this is my review, basically, on it. Um, so, you know, by Bendis, Marquez, and Ponster, and so, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what it's about. So, Diamondback, he's back in, uh, he's back in New York City, and he actually does something to, uh, Jessica Jones to basically try to get, um, his attention. Basically, what well, Diamondback is actually doing not to get only his attention, but going after each one one by one. Jessica Jones is first, and the page I'm actually about to show you right now, he goes after Luke Cage. So yeah, that's when we find out she's in the hospital. Um, that's when Daredevil arrives, he comes to the hospital room, so does uh, Danny Rand. So yeah, they all figure out, okay, what we have to do, Jessica Jones will wake up. Um, she says, hey, Diamondback is, you know, Diamondback, he's back, and, but, uh, Luke Cage said he's dead, but, uh, yeah, he's not. So, basically, they all go out and decide to basically go find him, so they enlist the help of Black Cat, and, uh, Black Cat goes with Diamondback, they meet up at this apartment, Diamondback has no clue, that she's working with him, until, you know, and then we cut off. Basically, I'm going to different places. We have Jessica Jones uh, going to a brick store. Um, actually, actually, that started bothering me. If you could tell me, and then they basically switch off to Danny uh, Rand. Basically, they uh, up. It looks like a poker game. Some shady people in the room. Uh, we have Daredevil uh, finding some people in the cage and all basically saying, Where is Diamond? Then we cut back to Black Hat and Diamondback and discuss uh, and Diamondback actually discuss with her hey, maybe there's some way we can like, come up with a plan or anything. But uh, she says no because he's here and that's when uh, Luke Cage smashes through the door. <clears throat> and then Luke Cage is frustrated, he grabs him by his collar and asks him after all these years, you come at my wife. And then uh, Diamondback says, to be fair, brother, you got in, you know, you got in my business. So basically, the other members of the team don't know where Luke Cage is. I guess they didn't know about the deal or Luke Cage just sent, like, a signal or something out for them to go actually help. So, yeah, um, they were trying to drink at the bar or whatever. So, uh, Daredevil was actually beating up the guys in, like, the background. And uh, you have Danny Rand and uh, drinking a bottle of water in the foreground. So basically what happens is that Diamondback gets the upper hand by actually putting some dust in his face and smashes his, uh, his head in the top of the <clears throat> And then, you know, that's how it actually ends with Black Cat having his face. Basically, like, oh god, what's gonna happen? So yeah guys, um, I gotta say, um, this was, it was a good issue. Yo, it's a decent, like, you usually wanna go to the top of the screen. Up single issues to do trades, and uh, if I do single issues, it's actually made up there. But uh, yeah, I mean, this actually it was actually pretty good. Um, it 
I highly read that much more before I start coming back into it. I read like four issues of Stormwatch. But, uh, yeah, so basically the rating system when, um, how I actually read my books. So this book's actually going to get five MCs out of ten. Um, it's pretty decent. I didn't really like some artwork halfway through it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my kind of